Our next guest tweeted out the following things just a few days ago. At G Swaim, will BYU and Cincinnati get Big 12 invites soon? Quite a few media who follow Big 12 expansion think so. Is he one of those media that thinks so? Joining us now on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline is radio TV host Greg Swaim in the heart of Big 12 country. Greg, nice to have you back on the show. Guys, thanks for having me on again. Okay, you've excited a lot of people with uh, a second tweet that you sent out, and I quote that, not as of this morning, but BYU and the UC Bearcats have seven and six votes respectively. Eight could happen soon. What are you hearing on the front of BYU potentially getting an eighth vote, Greg? I think it's going to happen. Here's what's going on, guys. It's a, more of a geography thing. It, you know, A lot of people, and you'll see this, uh, bringing up on, on Twitter some old stuff from around the first part of August when you first started getting uh, national news folks uh, saying, oh, the LGBT community sent letters to the Big 12. They don't want BYU in for whatever reason. That's old news. Uh, if, if that was going to stop anything with the talks, those talks would have ceased immediately because uh, you guys know this better than anybody. BYU is not going to change anything they do and they shouldn't uh they're you know to me you talk about intolerance well there's religious intolerance too and so uh, i think i'm thinking most of the presidents with the big 12 see it that way now the problem with a couple of schools citing geography not so much for football because you get on a plane and you go we're not taking trains anymore um the the issue with so many olympic sports and I use the term Olympic sports because coaches who coach Olympic sports get mad when I call them non-revenue sports, even though that's what they are. <laughs> They're non-revenue for a reason. They don't make money. So you got to spend a lot of money flying back and forth. I think that's the biggest issue that's being worked out now. This thing's about to happen. I really think it'll be BYU and Cincinnati. I think the TV folks said, you know what, uh, we don't want you taking four, take two. Yeah, we're fine with BYU and Cincinnati, and let's go with it. It's not going to be Houston. Houston has two votes, and that's Texas and Texas Tech. And Texas and Texas Tech are very well aware that it's not going to be Houston. Uh, but there are political reasons for both schools needing to keep Houston happy. So they're going to go ahead and, and make it well known that, hey, hey, we wanted you guys. Sorry to get in. <laughs> we tried, it's going man. To be Cincinnati. Yeah, we, we did everything we could, guys. They knew all along. This thing's going to be happening, I think, in the next month, hopefully sooner. Um, I've got some connections in, at both Cincinnati and BYU and uh, in the administration. Both feel like it could happen any time. I think it's going to be more like a month. Once again, we're talking about the Big 12. They don't do anything fast. They don't ever do anything right. But I think in this case, they might do it right and get BYU in Cincinnati. Wow. Okay, there you go. Greg Swaim joining us, radio TV host in the heart of Big 12 country. How confident are you in those specific vote numbers, Greg? Uh, very confident. Because after after I tweeted that, I got some verification from some guys who some of them have put something like this in their newspaper column. And these are, you know, major cities that follow the Big 12. These are guys that follow the Big 12 all the time. They've got some of the same connections. They've got maybe better connections than I do. They, they kind of verified that. So uh, West Virginia, Texas, and Texas Tech uh, are probably, and I say probably because nobody knows for sure, but most of us are coming to consensus on this. Uh, Texas and Texas Tech could switch tomorrow. It's just a matter of, hey, we're holding out for you, Houston, to get one of those two spots. Um, West Virginia, because, you know, that's half, more than halfway across country, two-thirds across country. Uh, but once again, they're on an island, so they kind of get it. So those are the three teams that uh, you mentioned BYU has seven votes. Those are the three that either are undecided or against for, or for Houston or whatever. It's Texas, Texas Tech, and West Virginia. That's what you're hearing? Related to yeah, BYU. And, and they could they could flip at any time. Uh, the thought is between you know guys I talked to is that West Virginia is kind of holding out. Hey, we're we're okay with BYU as long as we get Cincinnati, which is right up the road. Mm -hmm. So I think all that's going to happen. All it's going to fall into place. 
the last thing that needs to be worked out is probably not have a, a true round robin or anything in the in the minor sports because that's a lot of travel. You know, softball, baseball, volleyball, whatnot. Yeah, and there are several Power Five conferences that have kind of set the way for this as they expand. They could look at what they've done with fourteen teams: ACC, SEC, Big Ten. They all have fourteen as well. When when you look at um, what what's at stake here for for BYU and Cincinnati, it feels like it's going to be those two. It, it, will you be surprised if it's not those two, or if it's more than those yes. two? Yeah, and, and of the 20 schools that have been mentioned, I mean, a dozen or more have less shot than you and I starting our own college and getting in. It, it's, <laughs> I mean, it's that bad. I mean, you know, East Carolina, some of those folks. You're uh, saying Arkansas you know, State doesn't have a shot, Greg, at getting into the I know, Big right? Hard, hard to believe, hard to believe. But the Red Wolves, maybe they'll get in a real conference someday. Um, that being said, you know, like Central Florida, South Florida – um, Houston really makes no sense. And Mike Gundy at Oklahoma State's been <laughs> pretty adamant about, no, we don't want those guys. That makes no sense. And I think even Texas, in Texas Tech, no, it makes no sense. Uh, it makes zero sense for them recruiting and, and whatnot. But, you know, they like I said, they've got some uh, some issues, politically tie, uh, political ties, that kind of thing. Um down the road, you know, there might be some other schools that are being mentioned now that could be in, but for today, there are only two schools that are getting a majority that need a super majority, and that's, you know, BYU and Cincinnati. Do you think this is beneficial for the Big 12 that they are leaning towards adding just two teams because maybe, I don't know, let's say in the future when the grant of rights contracts come up for the TV partners in 2024 that hey, maybe there's an opportunity to go out and get a couple of other teams from power five conferences and then move to 14 or is this like the last gasp effort and maybe the big 12 dissolves in 2024 where do you stand on that issue well i think neither of those um the big 12 won't dissolve even if oklahoma say say like you know six years from now oklahoma takes oklahoma state and goes to uh, the sec and texas and kansas who are both uh uh, you know, AAU schools could go ahead and join the Big Ten. The Big 12 would not lose their Power 5 status immediately, and they would have to go out and get some more replacements. And by the way, that's that's a very real scenario. Uh, but, you know, if if those things happen in the next couple of years, where let's say we get BYU, BYU and Cincinnati in the Big 12, and the grant of rights is extended another 20 years, kind of like the ACC did, and they get some big TV contracts, and they get a Big 12 network, and somehow they bring in the infrastructure from your guys' network, which is terrific. It's already got, you know, everybody in the country can get it on, you know, cable and satellite uh, or, or and or the Longhorn Network. Uh, Oklahoma has a little bit of infrastructure as well, uh, not quite the network you guys have or Texas has, but you bring all those in and, and somehow combine them into a Big 12 network, and then we're talking a totally different scenario. So right now, I don't want to get too much into what the, the distant future will be because who knows with these guys. But <laughs> I will say I think they're going to do the right thing in this particular sense, uh, circumstance and get BYU in Cincinnati. Greg, great stuff. A lot of BYU fans are very hopeful at what you have told them. So uh, hopefully we'll see BYU Cincinnati or BYU and whoever for that for that matter uh, get invited to the Big 12 sometime in the next month. Thanks so much. Guys, looking forward to uh, maybe meeting you in 2017 up in Provo. That sounds fabulous, go. Greg. <laughs> we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks, guys. Greg Swaim on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Deseret First, your values, your timeline, your financial future.